an interim associate vice president of strategic planning and marketing at the Regional Medical Center. And we thank them very much for hosting the Regional Medical Center team and the community for this forum. The purpose of this forum is to start a dialogue with the community. And it's going to be led by our new president and CEO, Charles Williams. But to me, healthcare is special. Unlike any other profession, any other profession, we are dealing with the most precious asset that any person has. And to have the opportunity and the privilege to work with people at that time, that's an honor. I have to hear from the people. Now I'll be very clear with you, and, I, and, and we're gonna be very truthful in this meeting. This is not a meeting of putting on fronts and saying everything's perfect. Right now, Holly is primarily a um, aging community. We need additional services for aging people. We need maybe a little before work, a little after work. Uh, and the other is access to quality. Uh, working with them is they have all the studies, the feasibility studies that cover the entire county. They can give me real data around where the growth points are, where the traffic flows are. And it's also my plan to visit you all. RMC is not a building. It's a community. It's a community that these letters that you see, there are people caring about people. My question is, working in the community, I always have people saying um, the response time for when people come to get into the hospital, um, they said they'd be there like two or three hours before they're being seen. And some of you know, people like wondering why it takes so long to be seen. One of the things we do in the emergency department is we, we use a triage system uh, called ESI. Emergency Severity Index. And, and one of the things that it does is it kind of, it helps us to figure out who we're going to see first based on severity and resources that are necessary. One of the things we have to do better is we have to do a better job, and not just us all, but we really, I'm focused on us, is communicate to our patients of when we will get to you. I wanted to know what you might be doing with the response to um, transporting patients from, say, Bamberg and Santee to the hospital or wherever? Proactively put a helipad out there. Because one of the things we recognize is if somebody's in really tough position out there in Bamberg at that freestanding ED, you might not have 45 minutes in an ambulance ride. But we have a helipad right there. And ma'am, between 12 and 13 minutes from our campus through the air, you're there taking care of that patient. And the nice thing about those, those helicopters, they are well equipped, and I've been on many of the helicopters. They're equipped with, with the blood, uh, trained staff, so they're stabilizing and taking care of you while you're in the air. These are some of our services. In case you didn't know, everything from cardiac, endoscopy, endocrinology, radiology, psychiatry, pediatrics, wound care, these are some of the programs that we offer at our hospital. I just want to compliment the TRMC team for the service that they send out whenever a patient is admitted and discharged. You're giving us the opportunity to critique the service that we render to us. So the survey is great. And when I listen to the people, I need to make sure that some core services are being done. That people are getting the care they need, they're getting safe care, people are walking in or being pushed in and walking out. So it is an intentional decision to say, I need to make sure I have providers. Providers being physicians, nurses, lab techs, radiologists. Listen, no one has to convince me, convince me that this is a great community. I live in it every day. I'm enjoying every day of it. But when I do call and I have an issue, at least let me be able to have the ability to talk to someone in the office without just leaving a message on a voicemail and then wait for a return call and I don't get the return call today. Our PBX office gets between 21 and 22,000 phone calls every month. 85% of 21 to 22,000 calls are coming from inside. Us calling one another, asking how to get to this department. I'm like, guys, come on. 
The longer we tie up the phone, our customers can't get in. So we're in the process of fixing that. Thank you, first of all, for coming to our community and caring about us. Tell me something about the visiting nurses, because that was one of the experiences that I did not lack. So that's that's the challenge we have right now. We're working on. And that is an issue that is, is huge. So my team, we're thinking, okay, how do we work with that? That's the only problem that I have with PRMC is the visiting nurses. Other than that, good job.